Red Bishop, Red Ministry International for Africa, Red to You, The Act of the Prophet Radio Broadcast, The Dynamic Ministry of God's Service, Bishop Dr. Dele Online Coco. Anybody that is envious of your marriage, they will lose their own inheritance in the mighty name of Jesus. The African prophet, whom God has revealed the mystery and power of his law, the undiluted world to bring liberty to the soul of men and to set the captive free, to bring the laborers to those who are oppressed, to heal the sick, to give hope to the hopeless. Stay tuned because you shall be richly blessed with God's undiluted world from a seven, seven, seven. Think about every area of your life. And just look up to your father who art in heaven and tell him you will give glory only to his name. I wanted to just talk to God. Rededicate your life to him. Rededicate yourself. Tell God you will not serve him like you do before. You serve him better. Thank God you will not come to church the way you used to come in 2021. You will do better this year. Declare your 2022 for Jesus. Declare your 2022 for your maker. If you look at your life, somehow, somehow, God has been good to you. But as you hear me today, hear me and believe God speaking to you because he wants your life to be better. Everything is coming fast this year. But I don't pray that you should suffer delay. So if you don't want to suffer delay, stay away from this first set of human beings. I will go straight to the point without beating around the bush and I will expand the scriptures. Listen to me. Good thing must happen to you this year. But if those things must happen to you, there are four people that you must not relate with. There are four kind of people you must not have anything to do with them. No matter who they are, if the person I pastor cut off, hallelujah, if not pastor, the person be separate. It's not all pastor. That you should listen to. It's no pastor that should put their hands on your head. Your head is the only single thing you have to stand for your destiny. It's not every prophet you go to. Whenever you want to go to hospital, pray before you enter. Men, they don't give you a picking over those of drug. Now God save one of my grandchild. The picking don't they die. But we prayed. Mama, do powerful spiritual work. And as they were busy looking for oxygen, listen to me. Everything the devil planted for you this year will not grow. I think whatever the devil plants for you, every seed that the devil has already planted to grow in your year, they will not grow. Stand up and shout your amen like thunder. I said stand up and shout your amen like thunder. Every seed the devil plant for you for this year shall not grow. Every seed the devil plant for your family this year shall not grow. I said they shall not grow. They shall not grow. They will not eat fruit in your life. In the name of Jesus. Every satanic agenda against your son, against your daughter, against your children, against your career is cancelled today in the name of Jesus. When men are shouting, there is a casting down. You will shout, there is a lifting up. When people are hungry, you will be sharing food. When people are saying there is no money, you will be spending money. When people are trekking, you will be riding your car. In the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever you could not get in 2021, you will get it in this 2022. Whatever last month could not give to you, January will give it back to you. I thought somebody believe in what I'm saying. 
If my God can give assistant women leader a son, when against all odds, Kai, no matter how precarious and terrible your case look like, as I am standing on this altar, I have confidence that you will testify before Sunday. This amen I am not like at all. Shout amen like somebody who believes in God. Shout amen like somebody who have assurance from heaven. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor. neighbor. Cut off from these four people. Even if they come to buy anything from you, say you no get. Say you, I no get, no me say you no day. I no get the one where I want to give you. If they greet you, make you no answer. You know the quarrel. Salutation is not love. Say you greet me, say me go, does not mean you love me. So me go, I want to come out of my feet, by any other. That when in Nidan like this, your life don't scatter. They know what they do. Now Nidan, they, they take collect people's glory. They will just Nidan like this. <laughs> and you yourself, you say, <laughs> friend, though, that means rise and rule and reign. And the person will rise. Once he rise, he don't carry what you get. But anybody who steal your property will make an attempt to steal from you. Even though by mistake you no close your store, anybody that enter with the intention of stealing from your sweat this year, Kai, he go pay back, he go have the own joint. Now, number one person that you must watch, even you can start checking them in the church, whether they are they are your close friends in the church now. It's not that you look at them as an enemy, but just separate. Number one, are you ready? People that have Absalom spirit. People that have Absalom spirit. Open your Bible with me. Second Samuel chapter 15, verse 2. People that have Absalom spirit are so stealers. Then they steal so. They will steal your friend. They will steal your fiancée. Then they steal. Thief your customer. If you know them. <laughs> Starting their prayer from this January. Thank God to, give, to send them a message. Hear the story. He said, and Absalom rose up early. And stood beside the way of the gate. You know, people with Absalom spirit, now the road where they pass, now they, they like to pass. Where you put your leg, now they like to put their leg. You go think, say, then they follow you. You go think, say, they love you. You go think, say, they are the best of your workers. This one understand me well. Hey! Let's read on. He said, and it was so that when any man that had the controversy came to the king for judgment, when people are coming, maybe for counseling, they are coming to consult with you. They are coming for you to give them advice. And that person know your way. He know your moves. He know the time. He know the time people come. He know the time your clients come. He understand. In fact, at times, you and the person, they plan together. And the Bible says he will stand by the way of the gate. In, in fact, you even, he has the spear key to your store. Hey, Chukuma, I know go quick reach store today. Nam, eh, eh, help me open the store. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Help me open the store. The person they help you open the store, you know, go pray, say, make you better person. You give, you give him the key of your store so that I can pray your customer. Now listen to me. He will stand by the way of the gate. He know your ways. He know your moves. He know your time. He understand everything. So he is even your relation. This one now na, na picking to a man. Picking wants his father dead. Anybody who is wishing that you die this year. The time they have programmed for you now then go die. This year 
It's not a year to play. I'm not a play with anybody. Listen. Absalom spirit people. If you don't feel wrong, like they pain you, if like they pain you, take prayer, kill them. Are you hearing me? Now, he said, when any man is coming to consult, and then Absalom will call on to him and say, of what city? Uh, they, they shall be sweet mouth. Say, so, oh, where did you come from? Hmm. Of what city are thou? And he said, thy servant is of one of the tribe of Israel. Verse 3. And Absalom will say unto him, see thy matter are good and right. This matter, this case you bring, now you they right. He said, but there is no man disputed of the king to hear thee. Say no man disputed. No man can even talk about your case to the king. That is what is paining me. That is too busy. It doesn't have time. And then, okay, I, I will see whether I can try to, if anybody tell you like that, send me text. I write in name. This year, I must read. Anybody, where they block my way, I go finish up. If now my PA, now they block you, send me text. I go sack him. No be my, no be me and PA go call. Now me go call, now me call PA. <laughs> Person where I call, no go spoil my work. If God made, laid it in your mind to live wherever you are, to come find me for a year, and you somebody say, him be anything, I go sack him. I'm not, only, I'm not talking about people. If, if you be ordinant, I go deordinate you. <laughs> no, this year is not a joke. Jesus is coming soon. I can't waste my prayer. I can't waste my time. And I will not allow you to help me waste my time. Anybody wasting your time, who kept you like this that you have not born all the children you're supposed to born? Any man or woman in your family, in your husband's side, who has been wasting your time, rise up and shall fire! Tell your neighbor, this is a different year. I'm no longer like before. Waiting. Wait, look. I listen to the statement of David concerning a man. And I, I, I told myself, I will not allow anybody to kill anybody that God has put me to watch over. What kind of nonsense is that? David said this word when he was crying. He said, how did you die like one of... Now listen, let me be fast. And I said, he said, ah, is there nobody to talk about your case? Absalom said, moreover, oh... Listen, oh, that I were made judge in the land. If now me be bishop, if now me be prophet, that every man which had any suit or cause might come unto me, I will have do him justice. They will be talking about their leader like somebody who doesn't know what he's doing. When you see people are like that around you, they want to steal your soul. That's their business. Then he continued and said, the next verse, verse 5, he said, and it was so that when any man came near to him to do him obeisance, just to greet him, because he's a son of the king, he will put forth his hand, he will, he will grab them, he will, he will took him and kiss him. Oh, he began to show them love. Can anybody show you love? But why your love? And looking for us to steal your soul. Then they show you love. Come help you wash clothes for your husband's house to see how they feel still your man. <laughs> they act like madam. <laughs> now so, they show love, show love. Mm. This year, don't let anybody else born for your husband. No. That would be an insult. Wake up! Nobody can waste your age. Hallelujah! I'm challenging you this morning. By the spirit of the living God, I came from the mountain and this is what God told me. There are absolute spirit people around you. And you say you want to rain. You are driving your car and somebody is leaking your tire. By the time you finish deflating your tire, you will park in one place. You say you want to rain and somebody is busy digging go oh, around your feet. Telling people how bad you are. Absalom spirit. 
And the Bible said, do you know how long he did that, that job? In fact, David, David himself, Absalom did this thing for 40 years. David did not know. Open your eyes and recognize your enemy, my friend. Which kind of love? Now love you love, so tell your life be like this. Are you hearing me? Now listen, go ahead, please. And on this manner did Absalom to all Israel that came to the king for judgment. So Absalom stole the heart of the men of Israel. They are so stealer. Heart stealer. They steal your customer that cannot do without you. Somebody is trying to steal her. Don't you know that your customer, they are part of people who put food on your table and clothes you. People that they can't do anything without calling you. Somebody is poisoning their mind in order to drag them close. Turn himself to a saint and turn you to devil. Rise up and shall fire three times. Listen, he was doing it in front of the palace. Doing it in front of the palace, not in the... In, in, Hey, anybody that have access to your to, to your house, that have access to your store, and yet doing you that kind of evil, rise up, turn around, and release fire on your head. The next verse, and it came to pass after how many years that Absalom said unto the king, he now lied to his father. After he has been able to sell himself to the people, there are people who come to you. They just, they want a platform. They want to climb the altar. They want your platform. So that they can be projected. Then they will steal the souls of your men. They will only catch those ones. Who they feel are your supporter. Who they feel are your backbone. Who they feel they are your pillars. Anybody who try and this year, he go die for this January. Even though if, he want, if they plan now for September, he go die for January. Enough is enough. For 40 years he was following the king. But he has an agenda. People are following you for many years. My friend from childhood. Now I make your life look like this. You think you are still a child? Your friend from childhood is still your friend. Now not a grow. Nobody grow past each other. Make them leave each other. Come get another friend. So when people begin to ask you unnecessary question that is that cannot put money into your pocket, don't answer. Anybody that comes to your store, do you have this? I have or I don't have. But come to your store and say, how are your husband? Is he there work? When he go come back, is he offshore now? What do you want taking offshore do? Whether is he offshore, inshore, or outshore, or all beside the shore? Be careful this year. There are people with Absalom spirit. They can follow you for 40 years. 40 years. They'll be submissive. Hey. They will be loyal. I, you will hear, Sir, I loyal like ties. Then they follow you. When they mature or finish, you will know their true color. When Absalom matured after 40 years, he went to David and said, King, live forever. My father, before I came, I made a vow to God that I will go and I will pay my vow. Please permit me. They will even take permission from you. Please permit me to go and pay my vow. And David sit down on the throne like a fool. And they look at the boy and say, Oh my son. My good son. My handsome son. And the boy was very handsome. Likeable. You know, likeable and popular. So David aligned and said, Go and pay your vow. When the boy stood up from the presence of David, he did another thing. He called all his men. He said, go around the whole tribe of Israel. Blow the trumpet and say, now Absalom reign. Hey, when they blow the trumpet, David heard the voice of the people in the streets, in the marketplace, everywhere in the houses. They said, today Absalom reign. David Picris. David begged one prophet, Sadok. Even all the prophets around David, all the majority of them went with him. Only two or three stood with David. David now begged one of them. He said, I trust you. Only you go back. Act like one of them. And he now said, because there is Ahitophel. I fear the counsel of Ahitophel. For Ahitophel never make mistake in counsel. There are people, they will, they will steal your helper. 
Ahitophel was an helper to David. His cancer was like cancer of God. Absalom stole the heart of Ahitophel. Absalom spirit people. They can even turn your wife and you against each other. Ahitophel that was like that God gave David. It was the head of all the king counselor. It was, the Bible says his counsel was like the counsel of God. But Absalom was able to talk him into disrespecting David. I pray for you. People that talk your helper away from you, may God send them on a rant. Rise up and shout your helper like fire. That is number one kind of person. Hallelujah. Number two kind of person that you must run away from. There are people who have Joab ministry. What did I say? It's a ministry. Listen, the worst thing about Joab ministry be say, you know if he separate from those kind of people. <laughs> now forever and I go die together. <laughs> Joab ministry people. <laughs> they look like they are helping you. <laughs> but they are your controller. Then they control you. Are you hearing me? Joab ministry people. People with Joab ministry, they know they leave you. I go, they follow you, they go. <laughs> people that are, have Joab ministry, they weak your strength. They are strength weakers. They only weaken your strength. They don't say you should not ring. But they want to divert your attention to themselves. To tell you that without them, you cannot read. They don't obey your instruction. And yet, they are very close to you. You say, do this, they do another thing. And this is what Joab did. Second Samuel, chapter 3, verse 17. This Abner was the head of the army. Tap your neighbor. Say, neighbor, hear this. Was the head of the army of Israel. So, when the kingdom got divided... That David ran away. So men came to David and they become strong men. But Abner was the head of the entire army of Israel. If you have that one man in your camp, you can win any war. It's because of Abner. David ran for his dear life. He cannot face the army of Saul. When Saul died, because God killed Saul and God killed Saul's son. When Saul and his heir apparent died on Mount Gibor, only Abner took the entire ten tribe of Israel and hand over to this another son of Saul. Even though the boy was young, he cannot do anything. But for the fear of Abner, everybody submits. Abner was a great helper of destiny. I pray for you. Anybody that want to kill the helper of your destiny, may they die this January. Yeah. Abner was the helper of destiny. He was a God sent. David has no God to say will be the king over entire Israel if Abner did not support. But Abner was humble. His power did not enter his head. He did not parade himself as a big man. He was submissive. But he was one of the greatest and the brightest soldier of his time. There was no army in the world that could conquer his troop. He was strong. He was mighty. He was a true mighty man. And when he's in the war, he smiles. He doesn't frown. He will look at his opponent and say, you are small. Go back. You are small. You are not my level. Don't Throw your spear out. Just they go. Go home in peace. He will advise you in battle. Say, don't face me. Go home in peace. For if you face me, you die. It's either you choose your death or you go to your family in peace. So he doesn't just carry kill. So he was that strong man. Full of confidence. Then one day, David was ruling two tribes. Saul is dead. Jonathan is dead. Then the son of Saul that was ruling... People never liked the boy. Then people desired that, okay. But they could not be bold to say, let's go to David and let David become our king. He now came out. 
Abner now came out and looked at them. Hear what Abner said. And Abner had communication with the elders of Israel. Say, Shebi, you people are seeking for David in time past to become king over you. They say, yes. He said, now then do it. For the Lord has spoken of David. Say, by the hand of my servant David, I will save my people Israel out of the hand of the Philistine. It's a man that respects God counsel. It's a soldier. He's supposed to be partial and loyal to one side, but he was loyal to God. And he said, and he said, and out of the hand of all their enemies. Verse 19. And Abner also spake in the years of Benjamin. He went to the second tribe that David was. He, he went to another tribe of Benjamin and he spoke to them. And the Bible said, and Abner went also to speak in the ears of David in Hebrew. He went by himself. He didn't send any message. He didn't say because I'm powerful. The kingdom, the ten kingdom is in my hand. You come and meet me. No. He went humble himself and said, David, God has spoken that you are going to be the king over Israel. I don't have anything against that. It was an epper to David. It was to make David the head of all the entire Israel. He went to Hebron, the capital where David was, and he spoke with David. And he encouraged David to stir up himself and become king over Israel. He said to David, "Say, when I'm coming back, I will bring the entire Israel to you. There are people that are out there. They are your helpers. They want to bring the entire good things to us. They want to bring the entire people to the church. But the one way they are around the prophets, they are Joab ministry people. Joab, no, he no wants competitor." You know they like new face. If you see new face around the prophet, the problem don't start with that. They have job ministry. If you know people who doesn't like new people around you, it's either you leave them or they leave you. Anyhow, make sure say they leave you or make sure say you leave them. This year, you must reign. Now listen to me. Abner came to David and spoke to David. How, what he will do. And so Abner came to David to Abram and 20 men. He was so confident. He doesn't mind that David had plenty soldiers. He only took 20 men. If that man alone stand in battle, nobody will stand up. So it only, it's an effort to David's destiny. He only took 20 men and went to David. He went to the stronghold of David to talk to David. And Abner came to David to Abraham and 20 men with him. And David made Abner and the men that were with him a feast. Verse 21. And Abner said unto David, I will arise and go. I will gather all Israel unto my Lord the king. Kai. What David could not do with sword. What David could not do with campaign. What David could not do with evangelism. One man said, quote my word. I will arise I will go back. I will gather the entire people to you and you shall be king. Hey! <laughs> David said, now wow. When you have Abner in your camp, go to bed and sleep. You have no problem. Anybody chasing your helper, anybody pursuing your helper, anybody killing your helper, anywhere they are, anybody that says your helper will not meet with you this year, rise up and shout! Rise up, turn around and shout fire. Enough is enough. You have been walking. There is one man somewhere that can gather all the people to buy it at one stand. And he told David, he said, I will go and rise. I will bring all of them. Don't worry. You don't need to stress yourself. I will bring all of them. When you read further, because of time, listen to what happened. So David said, okay, go and bring them. David was already preparing the robe he will wear for that day. All the things that he will put on. He has arranged all his cabinet. How we will welcome the entire tribe. He was already in jubilation. Anybody that wants to cut your joy short. Anybody that says your, your, your testimony will be aborted. Any man or woman that wants to abort your testimony. Any boy or girl that wants to abort your testimony. Rise up and shut your fire very well. Hear this. And as he left, the Bible says, Joab came in. When Joab came in, then they, some Olofofo, you 
see, when you see people where they run, come me to say, you see what thing happen, then go ruin your life one day. Don't worry. Keep giving them your ear. One day your head go break. As job stay, nine one all over. Oga, Oga. Something happened for palace to do. What thing happened? Habna came. Habna. Hope oh, now don't tie him. Say no, hmm. The king cook food for him. He sit down for table in the shop. Hey, Joab say, our original enemy. He go free of charge. Now he walk out, go meet David. He when you get him, finish the reading by yourself. He walk out, go meet David. He say, you, you see, Joab ministry. They know the fear. They can talk to you anyhow. He look, he look David. He say you. God bring your enemy to your camp. He put your enemy for your hand. You rub and powder. You do party for him. You should say you well. Talking to a old king. <laughs> and the man know if he do anything. Even David talk him for Bible. He say no if he do anything. He said, now God, now God go, go help him for the hand of this boy. Are you hearing me? So, before you know it, David said, ah, he, he came with good plan, good things. So we will not fight war again. He waka, he waka come off for king uh, presence. He call his servant and say, where did he pass? He said, he said, run, call him. And Abner came back. He said, Abner, my friend, my friend, <laughs> my colleague at war, you are welcome. People who have job ministry, when you come newly, they will open and of fellowship. When they see say they pass the boundary, they will wish you are dead. Do you know how many people they don't pursue from this church? When they, they that is how courtism start to, then they behave like click. And you, they go get supporter. Supporter. Which day you come? Which day you come? We go, we go, sure and say, you meet us for here. For where? Then they meet you for one place where you stay. You, you, you never come out. You don't buy your motor. Don't build your house. Come they, you know they grow. See, we go show and say you meet us for here. Now we first day here. The Bible says the first shall be the last. So if you say you have you first day here, me every day where I appear before God, I be new person. I not be old person. Ever new now I be old because at the wait for waiting God we talk today. In my, what somebody told me for my face he said I know this person I know how to handle her ah, you don't become in God that was what Joab was to David he know how to handle David you know when David said when you see Absalom don't kill him, arrest him when Joab got there he said kill him they kill him when they went to David and said we, they don't kill your bikino. David started crying and started weeping. Joab came to the city. He said, come out here. If you don't address the people today, the kingdom shall be removed from your hand. Then they threaten you. People like that, they are a threat to your life. You will never have peace. You go to sleep with one eye open. If they tell you, do this, you must do them. Listen, I trust myself. Tell me, make I do this. I go do the opposite. I will call us to say, now nah, where I do this, or what you won't do. But David could not do anything. He could, he could not hear the statement of David. Finally, David said a word that made me cry for him. I cried for David in the night. Verse 38 of that chapter. And the king said, Unto his servant, Know ye not that there is a prince and a great man falling this day in Israel? You know how Joab killed Abner? Do you know how Joab killed Abner? He took him beside the swimming pool. Let's have a friendly speech. And the man removed his armor and gave his people. And he went armless for a friendly talk. And Joab too removed his armor, gave his people. But he had a knife. He hid somewhere. Why they were talking, they were laughing. They say, let them embrace each other. He stabbed the man. The Bible says he stabbed him at the fifth rib of his chest. And the dagger went in. 
and Abner fell and died. A mighty warrior. The glory of Israel. The man that the whole nation that was fighting Israel feared. And David cried and said that day, that Abner, you die like a fool. The next verse. David said, I am this day weak. Though I am anointed king, go. I am weak. We are Joab day. Even though you are anointed. Even though anointed the flow for your head. God, now God himself can't anoint you. You're weak. You know go feel make decision. You know go feel talk anything. Abner, he don't, he don't buy your life. Now they in charge. He said, he said, David said, this day I am weak. Though anointed king and this man, sons of Je Zerua, Abner, be too hard for me. They are too hard for me. He said, the Lord shall reward them. When a person begins crying, say, now God go judge you. Now God go judge. Rise up to your feet. I will be telling you the remaining two. Begin think about the people around you. If you get Absalom, you go soon run, leave your marriage. And they are three brothers. Then they go together. Joab is the leader. Three brothers. Why you go carry three brothers, the same father, to do business with you? Are you not trying to make them inherit your store? You carry, you carry people from village into your business. You know, you're not going to say your story go to reach village fast, fast. <laughs> Am I correct? If you want to help people from your village, make you not take yourself, help them. Call them, help them. Let them decide what they will do. Pay. If they live in your house, your wife's story, go to village. Anytime where your wife reach village, you go pay in due. Am I correct? You carry your sister. <laughs> I love my people. You carry your sister. You see me, your prophet. I be like this. I don't get my family member where they stay with me. But you get grace. Your grace now to be to be packing all your family member. Mm, don't come and ask me for prayer. Now you do yourself. Once you marry, don't carry your family member. If they won't come visit, men they call. He says, not my brother's house. <laughs> not your brother's house. You feel be your brother's wife. And some of you say, you get that spirit of Joab. Once your brother marry, the wife don't become enemy. <laughs> I call one of my son. I gave him advice. Say this year, rent store far from your store. Give your sister rent house far from your house. Give your sister. God will help you. Give you money. I don't know whether I don't obey. Whether I don't obey, but <laughs> if you obey, better for you. If you don't obey, your wife will get problem. There is no two way about it. Your wife must get problem. You carry your family member enter your house. Your wife fried chicken. No, he don't chop all their brother money. Then go eat past the woman. No, but now the woman chop all this chicken. They go village like, now. Nah, only hey, hey, our brother and wife make now us advise them. Food, food. Now nah, chicken they shop, they shop, they shop. Look. Whether you senior the person for 10 years, no matter whether a small one, he go tell your story. Then villager go to connect them. That is their telex. That is their fax machine. Even before you finish peace, they don't hear say you the peace. You say, now my, now my sister, God will separate you now when I grow. Do you mean say God no, no wise? He separate you now. You call, you call, re, 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 you say you be family man. We can't hear your family. Mm. My brother say, in wife don't burn, you go come, send the wife. Send your wife to who? Na letter. <laughs> you go send your wife to who? Who? Who now? Your own wife. You want to send them? Give who? Why you want to send them? 
Lift up your two hands towards heaven. Don't do good. We go kill you. Yeah, yeah, good. We now they do for everywhere. Yeah? Go carry all your children. Now for your mama house. Now for your mama house. Everybody will come to your mama house. You can't be like saying that the woman who come and bond them. Everybody, your mama house full. Now so then they shop. In fact, they feel no shop anything. They say, hey! I told my mother when she was alive. I said, you have suffered for us. Leave grandchildren. Let person we burn them. Suffer for them. Most of you people, eh, you are very wicked people. You go carry all your children. Go give your grandmother, your mother. And the mama said, you, you know, no say government, the retire person. There is a call all over the world for miracle man, for prayer warrior. God is looking for someone like David, someone like Elijah who prayed fire down. You see a sick man standing and a prayer warrior that's sure for me.